Did you see that incredible quarter from International Flavors and Fragrances, IFF, the other day? Here's a company that's one of the leading purveyors of, you guessed it, flavors and fragrances for the food, beverage, personal care, household products industries. I like to describe IFF as a stealth technology company. It may seem frivolous, but what these two guys do, it is about science. They invent proprietary compounds with particular taste or scent and then license those compounds out to the food, beverage, and consumer packaged goods companies that are always willing to pay up to get any kind of edge on their competition. Now, I've liked this company for a long time, so I wasn't totally surprised by the results they reported yesterday. IFF posted a $0.07 earnings beat off of a $1.40 basis, higher than expected revenue, and so solid full-year guidance. The one thing that was very clear from this quarter is that if the dollar keeps going lower, IFF will have a terrific tailwind, could continue to push the stock even higher, even as it shot up more than 6 bucks yesterday, although some of that game was repealed. Today was a tough day for the market in general. Can IFF keep blowing away the numbers? Let's take a closer look with Andreas Feibig. He's the chairman and CEO of International Flavors and Fragrances. Hear more about the quarter and where his company said, Mr. Feibig, welcome to Mad Money. Good to see you, sir. Have a seat. Good to see you. All right, we call you a stealth technology company because what you really do is you invent taste and you invent savory taste and sweet and smell, and almost everybody has to use you. Yeah, absolutely. I would say we are in the business of art and science, and that describes us very, very well. And many of our perfumers there create all these wonderful fragrances, yeah. all the wonderful tastes which you basically can taste in every ice cream or beverage you drink. Now, uh, you have a huge international business. You mentioned about the, week, the strong dollar and how much it's hurt, but a week dollar could be great. Places that are doing well for you are doing well for no one else. Middle East. Yeah, absolutely. It's a double-digit growth. We do around about 80% of our business outside of this, this country. Middle East and Africa is certainly one of the uh, uh, leading regions for us in terms of growth. But we see good growth in uh, Latin America or in, uh, in Asia as well. Now, when I see someone saying that they're taking the color out of a, a Cheerios or, or any particular regular, natural and organic, they need you more than ever, right? Yeah, first of all, um, we can do it in a synthetic version or we can do it in a natural or organic version as, as well. And we cater to the taste of our customers and the consumers as well. We basically do more than 500,000 consumer interviews every single year to find out what is the taste preference of the different consumers in the different regions of the world. Now, uh, when a celebrity wants to have a scent, they don't know themselves what the scent is, right? They have to rely on IFF to give them a series of options. Absolutely. They sit together with our perfumers, and they come up with the right creation, which is right for them, and then they're basically starting to promote and, 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 and to sell it. And it might be interesting for you to know that perfumers are a very scarce uh, uh, resource. There are just 600 perfumers on this globe, which is already... The same number as you have living astronauts on this on this earth, and we employ 70 of these uh, highly caliber perfumers. Now, when I smell fabric softener, it smells so good. Yeah, that's you too. Absolutely, that's a that's a big business for us, and and you see it growing in many regions of the world. Now, uh, you made an acquisition. Uh, I didn't know you needed to do it, but you guys are always trying to grow. This uh, Lucas Meyer Cosmetics, double digit on a standalone basis. How come? Yeah. Look, uh, what we saw is that this fits very well into our fragrance business, mm -hmm. that we go into the active cosmetic ingredients, which is a good gross business and a high margin business as, as well. We did the acquisition last year. We see good growth in the mm -hmm. business, and we see actually a good receptiveness of our customers here in the U.S. And, and international as well who really like it that we own one of those businesses and we will grow it even further. Okay, so what, is, uh, what are the hot tastes right now in the world? That's different. It's actually very different from parts of the world. Well, I mean, because we have great migration going on in the world right now. So yeah, you see, it, you see it here in the U.S. You probably see a lot of influence uh, from Latin taste. Yes. You see influence of Middle East taste uh, in, in, in Europe, or that, that will happen. But you see other areas as well. For example, in Asia, uh, protein sources are changing. Not, not any longer you can have all the protein from, from your steak, from your chicken or from your fish. So you probably have plant-based proteins. You have insect-based proteins. Right. And that's where you need really good flavors to make sure that, it's, that it tastes well and that you can digest it as a human being. Now, we, we, we are seeing um, some of the things that are going on right now where almost no one has double-digit growth. 
and you guys have been able, able to have it consistently. Is that because there's always new product? I mean, what has made it so that you have the most consistent growth? And I've followed you guys since 1984. There's, it's almost never been less than double digit. How do you do it? What is certainly helpful is that we have, I would say, or describe it as a perfect balance of our business. Okay. We have probably 50% of our, our business in emerging markets, 50% mm -hmm. in mature markets. We have almost 50% uh, with smaller regional customers right. and 50% with the big global customers. And we have almost 50-50 in terms of our balance between the flavors and the fragrance business. And that helps us with the volatility in the, in the market. And with the growing population, particularly in the emerging markets, there's still a lot of growth to be captured. Uh, bakery, ice cream, these are all things that you dominate, Ab right? Absolutely. Bakery, ice cream, beverages. When we taste something, what is the likelihood that it's you? I think it's a very high likely. I, I can't give you a percentage, but it's but a But there high really likelihood. is only one other guy that I've ever yeah. seen in this business, yeah. right? I mean, yeah, we have uh, we have probably four big companies, and uh, we are one of the of the big ones. We are the biggest one here. In, but here it's the only one you can own. Yeah. Well, I got to tell you, what a franchise you have, and you know, it's just I, you know, I hope you come back to the show because I've been, always been fascinated by your company. It's always delivered, and everyone else, I mean, they, no one can figure out how they get this stuff. But it, most of it's from IFF. That's Andreas Feibig. He's the chairman, and CEO of International Players and Fragrances. This may, by the way, have been the best quarter of the entire earnings period. All right, maybe Facebook. May have money's back after the break. Thank you. Booyah! Jim Cramer here from Mad Money. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube. Click here to subscribe and get the jump on my exclusives with CEOs, plus market news, investing advice, and a whole lot more.